Hi there, and welcome to Basically Longarm Quilting, featuring the Anova Autopilot Mach 3. In this episode, we are going to take a look at the auto fit function and how you can use point to point patterns to create a whole new design. So let's take a look. Alrighty, so let's take a look and see where our auto fit function is. So at the uh, top of your tool strip here, um, you've got an auto fit function right here. If you hover over any of your icons, they're going to tell you what they are. Um, and auto fit requires a point to point pattern to work. And let's discuss what a point to point pattern is. So I'm going to go into my pattern library and I'm going to search for a point to point. Let's do a triangle. And these are a bunch of different point to point triangles that I have um, purchased and I've got here in my system. These are most of these are by Joyce Lundergan. Um, I'm going to take this point to point line uh, triangle, pearl triangle, and I'm going to add that to my pattern pad, double left click on it. I'm going to close my pattern library and I'm just going to drag and drop this over to the screen so we can discuss what a point to point pattern is. So a point to point pattern is a pattern that starts on the left ends on the right. So it's the first rule of a point to point pattern. It has to start on the left and end on the right. And the start and ends have to be on the same X axis. So they have to be on the same zero degree axis to work and be classified as a point to point pattern. So I'm going to take this triangle and I'm going to turn it into a beautiful block pattern for the block in our project. So I've got this pattern. Um, I just dragged and dropped it to the screen. I am going to go uh, over to the machine real quick and let's place some push pins down so we can have a visual on the screen where our um, block is. So I'm going to come over with my machine and remember when you are in your uh, Mach 3 icon and your lightning stitch screen, your single stitch button, your white button here on the left, um, is also your push pin drop button. So I'm just going to work around this block and I'm going to press my left handle button a couple of times throughout this. And this is going to give me a nice visual of where my block is on my viewport screen in autopilot. And that's going to help me when I want to make any editing um, around the block. So we're coming around here to finish this off. And whenever we get to a stopping point, we can head back to our computer. And I am going to go into my push pin icon. I'm going to click on done. And I'm also going to remove all of the blue dot push pins just to keep the screen a little bit more easy to look at. So we'll remove all those push pins. And now we've got a boundary uh, more or less um, where our block is. So I can select my pattern. Let me go back into my transform my home icon. I can select my pattern. I'm going to go to my auto fit function. I'm going to have my input as sew head so I can click directly where the block is or directly where the points are in the block. Sew head. I want to maintain the ratio for this. I want the system to determine how high the pattern needs to be in relation to my clicking point. So I want to maintain my ratio and I'm going to go to begin auto fit. So if we look at both the screen and the computer, or the screen and the um, quilt, your right hand button on your machine is your place button. So I can start in the bottom left hand corner of my block, and I'm going to press my right handle button. I'm going to move over to the bottom right of my block, place that there, and you'll notice on the screen that autopilot is starting to place in that triangle based on my clicking points. So I'm going to go to the top right of my block, place that, come over to the top left and place that. And I do have to finish this out. So I'm going to come all the way back to where I started at the bottom left and place that point once more. Once I'm happy with that, I can go back to my computer screen and I can click on accept. And what that's going to do is then stop my auto fit process, my stop my clicking points. So I can click on my transform icon, my little stretchy man to go back to where I can play with things. And this gives me 
an idea of where everything was placed. Now, I always say to trust your clicking points where everything went. And we look, everything went beautiful right into this section. Um, now, all of these patterns are combined as one. When you're doing an auto fit, you're doing a chain. So if you need to individually move them around, say you want to get these points to come touch in the center if you wanted to, you could go into your grouping icon and click on group. I'm going to go to ungroup, select these patterns just by left clicking on them. And now if I go back to my transform icon, my little stretching man, now you can see they're all individual pieces. And if I wanted to, I could adjust these to the center. Now, another cool thing about Autopilot is if you're trying to find the true center of your block based on your clicking points, you can right click on your push pin uh, drawing or boundary that you've made and right click on this. And I'm going to unlock this push pin drawing that I've made. And if I select it, now that it's unlocked, it's red. If I select it, I can go into pattern crosshair and that will give me the true center of my block. So if I want to make any adjustments to my pattern, I can take this and I can move it up if I want to. I'm also going to want to move that center a little bit more towards it. See that points a little off. I can go into my morph tool. Click on morph right here and I can grab my morph tool and just morph that point exactly where I need it to be. So then I can select the other side if I want to and still in my morph tool because this is a very, very small change. Um, so you can stay in your morph tool the whole time and just click around this to get to the true center of your block if you're wanting to bring things in this way. Just like so. Click on my transform icon, my stretchy man, back out, and that's how that block's going to look overall. We can turn off that center point just by, or that center crosshair by selecting our push pin drawing that we unlocked and turn it off by clicking on pattern crosshair and that'll turn that off just to uh, keep that out of our way. And then if you want to, you can also lock that um, boundary that you've made more or less uh, back again so it's you know, there's no chance that it might accidentally get sewn. So this is the beautiful look that we have just by using one point-to-point -point triangle working around and pulling them into the center. So what I'm going to do is I do want to make sure that these are still all attached. Remember when we ungrouped them and we morphed and moved things around that we could run into a little bit of an issue. Um, so I just want to select all these patterns, go into my grouping function, link them together, click on accept. Now we have one start and one end point down here at the bottom left, so I know this is going to stitch continuously and work out the way that I want to. Um, last but not least, before you stitch it, make sure that you save your project. So we're going to go to File, Save Project, and then we can tap Go. We're going to build the profile of how it's going to stitch it out. I can click on Continue. The machine's going to move to its starting position. Okay, so we see the uh, picture of what's going to stitch on the screen. That's letting us know that it's time to take a single stitch. So I'm going to take a stitch to pull up my bobbin thread. I'm going to hold those threads nice and taut, my top and my bottom, and I'm going to press continue. The machine's going to take its tie-off stitches, and then it'll start stitching your new block pattern that you've made with your auto fit. Okay, and I see that I still have my laser light on. If you don't want to stitch with your laser light on, it's completely personal preference, you can pause on your lightning stitch screen, you can turn off your laser light, and then continue stitching again. So it's going up to do its last final arc on this pattern. You can see they all come into the center just perfect um, using our pattern crosshair function along with our morph tool uh, to get that, to bring those centers in, to keep it from puckering up in the center. Um, if you ever have any piecing in a block that you need to lock down, you can keep those centers from popping up just by moving the pattern up into the center just a little bit. So it's coming up here to its last point. It'll tie off. And then I can push the machine away, grab a little bit of excess thread here, push the machine away, come back to the point, take a single stitch, 
and pull up my bobbin thread, trim this away, tap OK on your lightning stitch screen, and just like that, you've created a beautiful block with that one triangle that we had. Thank you so much for joining me today and learning more about how the auto fit function works with your autopilot. I'll see you next time on Basically Long Arm Quilting.